Do you want to learn how to consolidate what you need to know with what you need to get things done? Today, we will show you how you can leverage the power of home, task, and connecting your calendar with Evernote Teams to assure that your meetings are well prepared, you have all the relevant information available in one central place, your action items from the meeting are completed efficiently and timely, your tasks are delegated easily, and your team members are all on the same page. My name is Julian, and together with Johanna, we're part of the customer success team at Evernote. So, Johanna, show us what you prepared for us. So, Johanna, can you tell us what's home in Evernote? Home is your place to start your day. It consolidates what you need to know with what you need to get things done. Your home dashboard is completely customizable, so you can see all your most important content in one single place. To customize, click on the home icon in the upper right-hand corner. And as you can see here, you have plenty of different widgets that you can choose from. You can quickly change the size of a widget, like so. And you can drag and drop new widgets into your home dashboard. And we have multiple scratch pads available to quickly jot down things you would like to remember. And you can even change the color of said scratch pad. We also Great. now have a task widget available that allows you to stay on top of all your to-dos. Do I also see a calendar there? Yes, this is our brand new calendar widget that allows you to link your notes to your calendar events to quickly access them later. Wow, and how do you connect your calendar with Evernote? Let me show you. So to connect your calendar, click on the three dots in the right-hand corner of your calendar integration, and you will have your menu here. So you can add a calendar account here. So this is currently available for Google Calendar, but will follow in the future for other calendars as well. Or you can choose from existing calendars, right? You can also modify your few options here. So view your calendar widget as a timeline, like so, or as a list. And one thing I want to quickly call out is that you have calendar settings available here to allow Evernote to remind you of your meetings and to create notes. And how do I link a note to an event, Johanna? Let me show you. So for my upcoming one-on-one -on -one with Renzo, I've already created a note. So once I click on the calendar event here, I have a menu with different options. I can create a new note for the event, link in an existing note, or I can find related notes, or even open, open this event in my Google Calendar. So let me show you what this does. If I click on find related notes, Evernote will automatically search for notes titled with the same title of my calendar event, which is great, right? Maybe I have more than one note and I can quickly find them. Now, I want to quickly show you how you can add a calendar event from your note. So in here, click on insert for your insert menu and then select calendar event. And I can quickly select our event, Renzo's and mine 101, and add that to a denote here. Now, when I go back to home, I can see a note has been linked here, and I can open it directly from my calendar widget just by clicking here. Nice. So another way of connecting notes um, with my calendar is just creating a new note from the calendar widget. So I have to prepare our team meeting for tomorrow. It's our weekly team meeting. Um, and I can quickly create a note for this team meeting by clicking on create note for event. And as you can see here, Evernote creates a pre-formatted note with my, all my calendar event information in here. Johanna, how are you making sure that you're well prepared for your meetings? Let me show you. So first off, we have the calendar event here in the note. So let me show you what's included here because it's very powerful. So if I click on show more here, 
I can see essentially all the information that's available in Google Calendar as well. So I can see the date, the time, I can see the link to our Zoom meeting, I can see the participants, and I can even see who accepted my meeting invite or not. And of course, I can see my meeting agenda here in one place and everything I need to know in order to prep this meeting. So now to prep, I will want to create some tasks. So to create a task, you can either use your insert menu up here in the top again and click on task, or you can use your keyboard shortcut um, of command T to create a new task. So now that I have created some tasks that I have to complete in order to prep the meeting, I can use a signable task to quickly delegate those tasks as well. So let me show you how. So Julian, I'm going to assign the, the task here to get the updated week over week numbers for our team meeting. And I will do this just by clicking on the little icon here and then entering your name. And I will assign this task to you. I can also set a due date. So we have to have those, those tomorrow, let's be realistic here, by 8 a.m. since our team meeting starts at nine, I think. And once I assign this, you will get a notification and see the task, and then you can mark it done. So I have other tasks here, for example, to prep my slide deck. Once I prep my slide deck, I can just quickly check them off to mark them as complete. Nice. So how can you have all the relevant information in one central place, Johanna? So that's actually very easy. So first off, you can always use your insert menu up here on the left-hand side to insert all different kinds of resources into your note. As you can see, I've already added our Google slide deck for tomorrow's meeting in the note, so I can have everything in one place. Adding different files to Evernote is actually very, very easy. So I can simply just drag and drop files into my note like so. So I have a PDF here that I would like to add. I have an Excel report I like to add. And I can quickly do that just by dragging and dropping those resources in my note so I can have all of these things in one central place. Another thing I want to quickly show you is our editor because it has features that make it super easy to edit my um, my formatting in my notes. So as you can see, I have several different headers here. This is a large header. I can modify it. Let's make it green, make it bold. And then I can choose to update large header to match to make all my headers match the same formatting. Sweet. Fast forward, now it's time to host your meeting, Johanna. Yes, I'm ready. So it's Thursday, I'm ready to host my meeting. I am starting my day with home and I can quickly open my note that I created for my team meeting today. As so, and as you can see, we are fully prepped and ready to go with all our resources for the meeting in one single place. And I'm ready to just start taking meeting notes during my meeting here with the editor, um, but I can also add different resources during the meeting that I wanted to show you real quick and call out. Um, I have some users that really like to record audio of the meeting and you can do that from the insert menu um, by clicking insert and then selecting audio recording and Evernote will record an audio file that will be available within your note. Another feature that I would like to call out to make your meetings even more productive and keeping all that valuable knowledge in one place is our ability to scan in handwritten documents and whiteboards. You can do that by downloading Evernote on your mobile device. And as you can see, I have added a scan in whiteboard here. Um, the best part is that those files are also going to be searchable. And how do you ensure that action items from the meeting are followed up with, Johanna? Yes, that's where our task feature comes handy again. So as you can see, I took some meeting notes here um, and I can quickly convert those meeting notes into actionable tasks by selecting them and um, using the keyboard shortcut command T. And as what? you can see, I just converted them into tasks. And from here, I can quickly assign all those tasks to you, Julian. Oh, no. 
<laughs> Assign them to Renzo. <laughs> No, all jokes aside. So it really helps getting your meeting notes to actionable um, tasks that you can complete later. Again, you can use the different features that TAS has available, such as setting due dates and assigning them to your team members to make sure that those things are getting done. That was a well-prepared meeting, Johanna. So what's next? So next up, we have to make sure that our action item from the meetings get done. Let me show you how. So you can use your task view here to see all your tasks by a note. And you can also see who it is assigned to. Um, and you can quickly check them off from your task view right here. That's nice. You know, often it happens to me that I can't find the information from my teammates that is relevant to the project we're working on. How can we make sure everyone's on the same page? Yes, that's a very good question. So from the task view, I can quickly open my team meeting note. And as you can see here up top, this note is not shared. It's my note that lives in my personal notebook. To make sure that I can keep everybody in my team on the same page, I highly recommend moving this node to your team space. So click on the move node icon, and then I'm going to move it to my Evernote team space in my meeting node folder, select move. And now when I move to my space, this node is available here, you can see it. And all the six people that have access to my Evernote team space have access to this node now. And I can even take it a step further and pin it up here to the top so I can make sure that everybody has access to it. And done. Smooth. Johanna showed us how to harness the power of home, tasks, and calendar in Evernote to always keep on top of your meetings and move your tasks from to do to done. If you have any questions, please send us an email at customersuccess at evernote.com. Share and like this video if you want to see more like this. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. Thank you for watching. Thank you.